thought it was you. Joy! If you're off today, we nip into fresh goals for me. I've run out my strawberry fills. I might drop in on Mrs. Fishwick too. I owe you the truth. But it isn't very nice. Well, neither is this. The thing about Colin is... He's dead. The new year has not started off great for John, really. This is not a surprise to anybody. Um, obviously, you know, there is a little bit of hope there, literally, with hope, and uh, she's clinging on. But John's got problems again. He's got problems with Joy Fishwick, and, uh, and these are going to start to spiral out of control. I might drop in on Mrs Fishwick too. Take her some shopping. Well, don't spend too much. She's not a registered charity. I know. John feels very guilty about the whole Colin thing. And now he has this old woman who's dying, who's dying wishes to see her son one last time, which he knows he can never make that wish come true. Although he desperately is trying to make it come true. Maybe if Colin knew I was dying, maybe he'd get in touch. I am so daft. <laughs> I think I've still got his old mobile number. I'm not really sure why he thought that giving Joy his number was a good idea, really. He, he, he thinks in some twisted kind of way that if she's just got the number and if she can leave a message that that will make her feel better in some way. But as normal with John, he really hasn't thought it through very well at all. Hello? Hello? On one fateful day, she rings Colin's number while he's making a cup of tea, and obviously his phone rings. So he then has to come up with some big excuse as to why he's got Colin's phone. She said you hadn't seen him in months. I hadn't, until yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, well, I think it was yesterday. What's going on? Which he eventually comes clean about, blurts the whole lot of everything out to her. The thing about Colin is, he's dead. She has a massive angina attack. The neighbour turns up. He tries to keep her quiet while the neighbour's there. And Joy doesn't make it, unfortunately. Um, and, then, uh, and then he's got another body on his hands that he's got to try and do something with. I don't understand how one person can unwittingly get themselves involved with so many dead bodies. Um, one, one is fluke, two, definitely a mistake. Three, I would say he's starting to show some sort of genuine pattern. Um, and I, I am seriously unsure of how this is gonna pan out for him and me. <laughs> John is going to be undoubtedly put in more dilemmas over the coming months. Um, it's only going to get worse for him. And obviously we don't know how it's going to end yet or where it's going to go, but I think we can all agree it's probably going to get sticky.